Hey guys, thanks for coming back to the channel and learning about some calling. I'm Joey with Midwest Flyways. What I wanted to go over today is the quick spit. And now since I've been teaching lessons for about four years, I know what everyone's doing wrong when they're trying to learn how to do the quick spit. And one of the things that they're trying to do wrong is too much air. So in my other calling videos, we talk about use more air, use more air. But what happens when you use too much air on a pressure note like the quick spit is it sounds like this. Sounds really choppy and bad. So if you have the pressure down, if you can feel that first note, which is technically a push moan, you can feel the pressure with that because your tongue is starting at the roof of your mouth and you're going ta, ta on the way down. And then as you come down, you just push another breath of air. And that's a quick spit. So now at the end you heard how I'm just able to push just a little bit of air over the top of my tongue. And that's to show you where my tongue is positioned in my mouth. Bottom row of my teeth, tip of my tongue, we're going like this. <coughs> so again, with my tongue here, and here's the roof of my mouth, like I've said in past videos, you want your tongue as close to the roof of your mouth as you can while still being able to blow a note. It makes it a lot easier for you to do it. So especially when you're doing a push moan, ta, hut, ta, hut. And the important thing to remember about that second breath of air is that it is a second breath of air. I'm not just going da, la, 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 with my tongue. I'm not doing anything weird with my tongue, but I am going ta, hut, ta, hut. So you pronounce it with the T and then you push air again with the H of the hut. Ta, hut, ta, hut. And it's immediate right after you do it. So here's what it sounds like in the back of the call. <laughs> Hear how the first breath of air is clean? Ta. And then the second breath is hot and breathy. That's where I get that tone at the end of it. So the tone at the end. You hear, I, I don't know if you can hear on the camera, but it has a very nice vibration in my mouth, but it also has a different tone than some people do with their quick spits that I just love. And I think it sounds super goosey. So going back through the note, you're saying ta, hut, but in reality you're going ta hut, ta hut with your tongue. It's not all the way down and all the way up, all the way down and all the way up. We talked about that in our last video of your tongue doesn't need to be an Olympic athlete. So all you need to do is go up and down like a quarter of an inch. It's crazy. So when you're doing this note, you really have to pronounce the T at the beginning. You have to push your tongue up against the roof of your mouth and cut off all that air. When I do it with like the tip of my tongue, let's say. So you hear how that pressure built up behind my tongue. And then as I release it. So I'm not allowing any air to escape until I want it to. And that's when I drop my tongue. So that's the start of your note. The second part of your note, when you drop it, ta, hut, ta, hut, when you do the H, <sighs> super breathy, super hot, that's how you get that nice ring out of it. Or you can do it clear to get a very high pitch goose. But don't, don't forget at the very end to pronounce that T. When anyone's learning a new note, they start to bleed together if you don't separate each note from itself. So you have to remember when you snap the tongue to the roof of your mouth to make sure that it's a clean break. Here again is what a clean break sounds like. That's a clean break. So if it sounds like that's not a clean break. That's not my tongue snapping to the roof of my mouth. That's my tongue being very lazy. So again, going back to the beginning, what I said about not using too much air, Here's the thing about every goose calling note that you can do. You should be able to do everything at the lowest tone and at the highest tone that your goose call can do. So you have to work on your volume control. What never changes is how hard you snap your tongue because if you are going lower, you need to snap your tongue harder. If you're going higher, you're pushing so much air over your tongue that the reed already breaks over by itself and you just kind of have to make a little bit of contact on those high notes. You don't have to hit it as hard on the high notes when you're pushing more air. So if you're trying to go, you don't have to push as hard. 
but when I go low, I have to push harder for some reason. But yeah, this is definitely one of the hardest goose notes to learn. It took me three and a half months of trying for an hour and a half every day because I had no life. And so this is not a super easy note, but just remember pressure at the beginning, another burst of air and say hut, ta hut, ta hut, ta hut. And hopefully these tips helped you guys out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out our podcast on the separate YouTube channel. Be sure to check out our TikTok, our Instagram, everything out there and leave us a review on our podcast because you know we're doing a huge giveaway at 1,000 reviews. Thanks so much.